Good boy. That probably healed him up to full health because he's been taking a couple of chip hits recently. Whoa! What? What? I was... What? That's a thing? I... What? If you give them Endura Carrots or just Carrots in general, you get more Spurs. That is the best! I did not know that. I need to tell... I need to tell the world about that. That's awesome. Wow. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. When we last left off, we entered the Faron region, officially named... Uh, formerly, we had believed that this was South Nekluda, or that's uh, at least what I called it, but I believe it's actually the Faron region. This is the Nekluda region. This is the Faron region. So we got here, we've defeated some bosses, we've gotten some shrines. In fact, looking at our, uh, our orb count, we're almost ready to upgrade our, our attributes twice. So that is, that's something that I'm looking forward to. I'm definitely going to be grabbing, uh, probably two stamina boosts, to be honest. And this episode, I was looking at the map and I also realized, I, oh, I am going the right way. There is Cora Lake, which is unique enough to probably have a shrine in it. I'm guessing. It it just looks it's too special not to have one. Or maybe at least a Korok. So we're we're gonna investigate here, but ultimately we are hopefully going to be going into This is odd. I'm not getting a a shrine indicator, which is weird. I'm wondering if maybe this has just a treasure trove in it? I don't know. Uh, but ultimately, we're going to be going into or to the coastline and and brushing that up to the the Lurlin region or the Lurlin subregion, if you want to call it that. Also, this is extremely slow going, so I probably should have dropped some cryonis blocks. In fact, it's going to be faster if I just drop some cryonis blocks. So let's do that. But yeah, this is, uh, I believe, unless I discover something really cool, the last episode of a batch. So, your guys' input will be weighed after this episode. And it'll be from the last two episodes. So, if you if there's something that I've missed and it's glaringly obvious and I should have seen it a mile away, then you can tell me. But otherwise, what is... What is this for? It doesn't look like this lake has a purpose. Core Lake does nothing. What on earth? There isn't a treasure trove here. This is just the headwaters of a lake. I've I've investigated things like this before and discovered that there isn't anything in here. There's no cave. So what is this area for? Normally there'd be a waterfall that has a shrine in it or anything, but I'm not picking up a shrine. I'm not picking up anything. There's nothing in the water. And yet, this area is named. Why? Is it because the tower? It's, it's because the tower is right next to it? Is that the only reason? There's nothing in the water. No shrine, nothing. This is weird. There isn't even a Korok. There's nothing. That's... That's suspect, and you guys are going to have to tell me if there's anything here, but I guess not all named things have to have a location. Evidence, uh, make our lake, or make our uh, island, but this, this feels like it should have been something, and it's not. Okay, so I guess we're just going straight to the, the coastline then. Can you make it up this? No way. Wow, you, can, you could not have done that if I was on your back. Okay, take a hard right. And actually, I've changed my mind. I think we're going to be going over to the Lake of the Horse God because I've heard things about that. I think you guys have told me some things in the comments. And where am I going? Am I stuck on a bluff? Where on earth am I going? Uh, let's... 
Let's drop a marker here. Yeah. So I because I think I know what that is, and I think it'd be cool if we had the entire episode. Don't don't Oh no. Oh you lived. Oh you lived. Wow, that is that is a miracle right there. I think the only reason why Sif just lived there is because I gave him some food at the beginning of this episode, or else he most assuredly would have died, I think. Which means I should probably feed him again, because that was quite the fall. He just jumped off a cliff. Also, it looks like there's a Korok right here, so I might as well detour, I guess? So big. Hey there, it's not every day that we see someone all the way out here. We're doing an ecological study on the wild animals in the area. We've heard that there is a giant horse ooh, living in this region. Apparently, it can't be found anywhere else. That was all we needed here. We headed this way to investigate right away. A giant oh. horse? The really big horse in this region is likely part of a rare local species. However, with all of the monsters roaming around, we simply can't go any further. To be so close to, dis dis to discovery... Mm. That's right, there was even a monster that looked quite a lot like a horse. Whoa. Uh, we approached it thinking that was the giant horse we've been thinking f we've been looking for. Oh, it was so terrible. Just from looking at you, I guess that you're an adventurer, right? You certainly look strong. Hey, how do you like to go and catch a giant horse for us? Leave it to me. Oh, you're a lifesaver. They say that the giant horse lives around the Tabob grassland. That, that'd be northwest of here. You think that you could catch it and bring it back here? Don't stress out over the request, though. Hunt for the giant horse. That is one of the most iconic things in the game. And I've heard so much about that that stinking horse from people on the internet. The internet kind of exploded right at the beginning of Breath of the Wild's launch. And a lot of the talk was about the giant horse so we're gonna be getting that at some point I don't know if that will be our actual horse because I've heard you can catch it uh, but it'll certainly be something we catch and register because it's it's one of a kind but for now we're going to go discover the the lake of the horse god I'm really curious as to what we're going to discover here I mean uh, presumably it's a horse god but what form that takes, I don't know. I'm, I'm not exactly sure. Horse God Bridge. Well, either it's presumptuous and there isn't actually a horse god, or this is creepy. And... Wait a minute. Oh, wait. Uh, oh. I was expecting something different. It's a great fairy. Oh. Let's... Boy, sweet boy, please, listen to my story. I am, um, Malanya. Hast thou, I mean, have you ever felt the pain of losing a horse companion? If my power is returning to me, I may be able to help you out in some way. So please, I beg of you, help me regain the power I've lost. All I need is 1,000 rupees. When my power has been restored, I should be able to be of use to you, who who loves horses so. Do you, now, do you have rupees for you have rupees for me, right? Hand them over quickly. In order for me to regain my power, I need all the money that is currently in your wallet. Is this? It is. It, this is what I think it is. We've been questing for this: the return of heart. I am revived. Uh, kids don't look. Oh, never mind. You can look. It's it's a uh, Viva Pinata. Okay. Oh ho ho! At last, free of that tiny bud after so long. If my arms were corpor corporeal. They would have cramped for sure. Are. And you're the one who set me free, are you not? My name is Melania. I am the god who watches over the horses of this world. I suppose you deserve a reward for setting me free. What shall I do? Shall I make you my meal? Haha, <laughs> I only jest. If a horse you love passes from some sort of tragic, fatal accident, which is what it was, 
It was an accident. The lightning hit it. It wasn't me. It is within my power to revive that horse. However, if I detect vile intent behind the death of your horse, you will suffer my wrath. Uh, it was... It, it was lightning. It wasn't a thunder blade. Nay, nay, a horse, loyal and true, has fallen during your adventures. I could end you right here and now. I jest, of course. Shall I bring a companion back to travel with you once more? Yes, please. <laughs> you, could you could bring back shot, that's true. Or you could bring back heart. Hmm, I tell that this horse died due to an unexpected accident. Worry not. This happens from time to time. The horse knows that you did not mean to re for this to happen. Would you like me to revive this horse? Yes, please. Uh, understood. Let me bring back this horse. Oh, the moment we've waited for for so long. The rumors of this horse being able to come back from the dead were true. We have heart again. Yes. I was successfully able to bring back the horse. Next time, don't let the horse die. Horses are your partners. Don't forget that. If you're careless with their lives, you may regret it. Understand? I jest. For now. Bye. You were great. Man, I wonder what Sif thinks of this. Where is... Where is Sif? I, I guess Sif was boarded. We have... Oh, man. It's been so long. How long? What, what was the episode where Hart died? What was that episode? Future Pal, please put it up. We have Hart again. In fact, let, let's let's reward him. Let's let's feed him a bit. Apples and carrots. Eat up. Eat up, horse. Eat up, Hart. We finally have him back. Now, will I be using him? Probably not. I mean, he's probably gonna kind of stick around this, like, in, in the canon universe of this Let's Play. He's probably going to hang around my house, and he's gonna be retired. But for this episode, Heart is back. Heart is back, baby. Unless something happens and he dies again. That would be very sad, but Heart is back. And he's gonna be ferrying us to the, the, the shores right now. Uh, so that would mean, where do we go here? Probably, probably just there. Man, it feels great to have Heart back. Sif is definitely going to be a horse for the remainder, well not the remainder of the LP, because I do have, I do have plans to get another horse, and he's, and that horse is going to be our horse. Like, that is the horse that is going to be the best in the game, uh, minus Epona. And is going to be ferrying our our currently wet behind for the rest of the game. But for now, we're going to be using Sif and we're going to be using Heart. It looks like we can actually take Heart down here, so I think we will. It this part of the episode where we're we're skirting the the shore will be will go a lot faster if we're able to ride ride a horse through it. Even if this, even if our horse is only a, a three spur, it's going to go a lot faster. So my hope is to possibly find Ordon, let's see, what is it called? Like Ordon Village? But I don't, I kind of doubt it being its existence in the game. Oh, are you alive? Oh, please don't be alive. I'd rather not lose my, wait a minute. Is this like the easiest thing? The, this is the easiest thing in the world. This is... Wait. Wait, what on earth? What? What is happening? Your skin is so smooth and gorgeous, my little Rascal. Hmm? Someone's watching us? Oh, my sweet Rascal, you are so shy, aren't you? Yes, you are. Why not proudly show off, show off your beaming beauty, my darling? You must really come out of your shell. Hmm? The person watching looks like he wants something. Maybe he's after... <gasps> Is he after you? Don't you worry, my sweet Rascal. I would never, ever let you go. I'm head over heels for my special friend who's been around since ancient times. You're so ancient and special, Rascal. Yes, you are. Sorry, my sweet Rascal, I, but I fibbed a little. The truth is, I want to see 
guardians, flying ones, small ones, ones that walk around. I want to see all the guardians in the world, not the ones around here that have rusted away either. I want to see fresh and lively guardians. If I ever do get to see them, I may just have to leave you, my friend. <laughs> Oh, but don't you worry. Getting near a guardian is too dangerous for me. Flying ones, small ones, ones that walk. I'm afraid seeing guardians like that is is nothing more than a dream within a dream for me. What? What? <laughs> what? My sweet Rascal, don't you worry. I'll never let you go. Wait. I have pictures of them. I, a flying one and... Small one. I may not have one, a, one of a small one. Here, let me... How do I check? Album? I've taken pictures... Oh, there's the awesome spear. I, I've taken this, a Skywatcher, needed for a quest. One that walks around. So, flying ones and one that walks around. But I don't have a picture of a... I don't have a picture of a small one. Of a... Uh, do I have to go back? Oh, don't tell me. I think I have to go back into the the trials in order to find a picture of one. Because I've I've already kind of... What on earth? Oh, it's a Korok. I've already messed up my chances uh, for finding like a, a trial or a test of strength, I guess. Is the only other place I could find one? I can't think of any time we've seen them above ground, so... I'm probably going to have to go back inside the Trial of the Sword, which that would be that would be the middling Trial of the Sword, I think, which wouldn't be too difficult, I guess, but it does mean work. Is that? Yeah, that's, that's a Korok. Okay, moving on. Oh, that's a... That's a guardian. That's a live guardian right there. Uh, let's not have heart die to a guardian. And instead, let's take out the guardian ourselves. You! I've signed you up to be guardian deaded. You, sir. Can you... Yeah, wake up. Wake up, Sleeping Beauty. Oh, yeah. Got him. Cut off the thing. Cut off the thing. It's really just clockwork at this point. It's like the easiest thing in the world. In fact, let's take a break. And miss him completely. Wow. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh. Got him. There. Kill, kill the dude and then continue on our merry way. Cut off the legs. I found that the more legs this guy is missing, the more confused he is. He just won't lock on after that. And... Wait, whoa. Wh what? What? The Master Sword's running low on energy. And there... What on earth is happening to those gears? The Master Sword isn't infinite? Oh... Well, that is a bit of a game changer. We, I didn't expect that. So the Master Sword is not infinite. It, and it can never be. Unless there's another trial of the sword. It, it's, that's it. What we have is what we get. It's great and it's almost overpowered. And it's amazing that we're just running into its limit. But it's not infinite. Where did, I need heart. That's, that is definitely a bit of a game changer. I did not expect that. Okay. So, neat. The game isn't broken. I'm kind of sad because that means that I, I'm limited by something beyond my own, my own inhibition to use the weapon. So we're at a named part of the beach. This is called Martha's Landing, which is an oddly not Zelda name to have. Martha is pretty common and so I'm really I'm curious as to why this area is called Martha's Landing do we have a spear we do not have a spear anymore well I guess we're gonna have to do things the normal way 
so why is this called Martha's Landing? What, what about this area earns it a name? Well, Martha's Landing has a sword. A weird-looking sword. Is that all we've come for? This is... Oh, it's a knight... Wait, it's a knight's claymore. That's a knight's claymore? Looks... Does not look like a knight's claymore. And a chest, which has in it a sapphire. I don't... Okay, I don't quite understand. But... And it has a... Wait. Oh! Oh, okay, that's enough to earn it a unique name. Each of these stone... things... What are you doing? You're, you're dying, that's what you are. But each of these little stone... quarries... or... outlooks? I don't know. Each of these has a chest on it. Okay, that's, that's enough, I guess. And the last treasure is a silver bow with quick shot. Not good, but enough to make me satisfied that I discovered why this area is named. Going past the ancient antique Filiac girl, which I'll probably attend to this episode as easy as the middle trials are, uh, and I don't even have to I don't even have to complete them. I'm probably going to drop by just to get what they need done out of the way. Looks like there's a, a going the other way. There's something in here. A Korok? Probably yeah, it's a Korok. And then if we can cross over this this river here, I'm there isn't much on the other side, but there's enough. There's enough that I, I want to explore it. And it looks like there's another Korok. And there's a there's a fortress over there or a encampment, but it's not it's not worth it. And the only reason why I'm even going in that direction is for this. I mean, at a certain point, the rewards that the game gives aren't good. I guess? Like, what what can the game possibly give there that would merit me wanting to go? It could give me rupees, sure, but I can get those from any deposit. In fact, most of the deposits have respawned, so I can just go back and, and farm some more. And even though I, you know, I basically just have an unlimited supply of money. And I don't need weapons, because looking at my inventory, I have an inventory full of fantastic weapons. So, what really is the incentive beyond shrines, I guess? Like, a lot of the, the stuff in the game, I can just ignore now, because they're it's just not good. Not to say I shouldn't, or I, I should just give up on exploration, but there are only a set number of things... Oh, Korok. That really incentivize me going out of my way. Koroks is one of them, because Koroks are always useful, and they're really... They're the one thing which I don't even have... What on earth is that? I don't even have a tenth of the... Actually, I do have a tenth. Um, I almost have exactly a tenth, but I don't even have a ninth of the... the amount of... of Koroks in the game, so... And that's probably something I won't even complete, to be honest. It's it's something that'll probably be left empty and... and uncompleted. Because there are 900 of the collectibles in the game, and no one really want to, wants to watch that video where I get them all, so... And not even me, because I know the editing would be a nightmare. Like, that'd be a... A 40-hour total recording that I would not want to edit, and I would not want to record, because it would just be mundane. Let's see, what what is the reason to go back here? Is there any? There's some rush rooms, which I need to grab, because... Apparently, there's a quest later on in the game that uses them. And then, otherwise, I would be going into the... F yeah, I'll go I'll go over there, I guess. I guess I do have a place to go. Otherwise, I was going to say, I could go to the Trial of the Sword real quick and pick that stuff up. You know, I could always do that anyway, because it's off screen, so I might as well. So, let's see. I have everything. I've explored this area. Mounted Archery Camp. 
don't remember seeing that, but I did pass by, so I didn't see anything special. I could go up here, but that is just kind of tempting me to go into the new area. Otherwise, this is the only area I need to explore. That and Drea Lake and the Poplar Footlands. And that's it. So I think I'm going to go to the Trial of the Sword real quick. Just complete that. And I could also go... Th you know, let's go to the Nautel Not lands first. Because that seems important. What are these wetlands all about? They... They're wet. And they're lands. They're also kind of desertous, which... Means across this mountain is probably a desert. And maybe even the Gerudo region. That would make a lot of sense. What are these all about? I mean, they're they're here. And they're cool and all, but where... Where and what do they have to offer me? Stone Talus, maybe? I don't know. I don't know what to expect here. It'd really be nice to have a heart. That's that's obvious. I would love to have a horse right now. I'm guessing that's an Octorok. Maybe not. Some wolves. What on earth? Oh, a Lynel. A nice Lynel. Like the kind of Lynel you don't want to tangle with because he's a nice Lynel. Uh, do I want to face him? I can. Where are we on time in the episode? Because I'm I'm kind of branching out in a bunch of different directions. I think we can. My Master Sword is on cooldown. But I have weapons that I kind of need to burn through. You know what? Let's do it. Let's, let's do it. Let's start off with... Full recovery plus five. High level attack boost. And not bomb arrows. Shock arrows. Oh! He has shock arrows too. He has shock arrows too. Did I pick it up? I didn't pick it up. There. Okay, is this a silver main? Oh! I think. I don't know what this is, but he's scary. He's scary and powerful. Scary and powerful. Okay, that's, uh, that's, this is a, a caliber of enemy, which we have never faced before. Uh, well, first of all, <laughs> I need a crutch right now. I need Druk's protection. And I need to get the easy flurry rushes. I need to remember, flurry rushes are going to be just as easy as normal. Also, what on earth is is my shield right now? Shields of the mind eye? What on earth? Why do I have that? This. Wait, what? There. What? Why why can't I equip it? There. Let's do that. Uh my most powerful thing is the ancient bow, but also this is insane. So let's try that. Ooh. The spin attacks. Got it. And that's powerful. Let's let's swing on him. Can I mount him? Oh, I'm not sure how to. I pr could probably shield bash that. I could probably shield bash it. Uh, full recovery again. I don't even know if we can do this. Uh, this, and then chomp down a bunch of the random things I probably shouldn't even have in my inventory. There. Okay, Drew's protection is is helping me here. Oh! Dirk's protection is gone. Whoa! This guy is so powerful. Oh! Let's just keep shooting because this does a lot of damage. Oh, okay. Okay, uh, full recovery plus two. Nice. I still have Mephus Blessing. I think I have some fairies too. Whoa! What on earth just happened to him? What on earth is he doing? That is okay. Full recovery again. Uh, I can keep uh, at this most of the day. Very forgiving timing. And that probably would have almost killed me. I can't backflip that. I think I have to shield bash. 
This is insane. Well, it's good to know that I still have some heights I've yet to reach. Uh, can I mount him? Yes. Okay. Just get some nice free damage. I oh, I could have pulled out my bow there. Where is he going? I missed. Where are you going? Uh, oh, I have stasis. Perfect. And he's down. Mount, 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 mount. Oh, or not. I get hit every single time. I I really don't know how to avoid that, but I, I assume that... Oh, this attack. Well, this attack is... I was going to say easy to avoid, but I, you know, didn't avoid it. Woo! Okay, let's fire at him. And is he dead? He's dead? He's dead. Well, I could have been... That was a little bit clumsy, but I still killed him. I still killed him. I still got some good flurry rushes. Normal stuff, shock arrows, Lionel Hoof, uh, Savage Lionel Bow, which I'm going to be dropping one of my many and honestly not that good Royal Bows for. And a Savage Lionel Crusher has... Oh, man. This has a base power far exceeding the Master Sword. Now, it doesn't exceed it when the power is doubled, but... It still is is vastly better. Uh, this is worse durability up. So we got that, and that feels like it's part of the the giant horse quest, doesn't it? It really does. So I'm wondering if the giant horse is just around this this hill. Another Lionel. This one looks a little bit more manageable, maybe, but there are Lionels everywhere. I don't even know. I don't know what that is. That could be a Silvermane. And do we want to face a Silvermane Lionel right now? I... What is my inventory even looking like right now? I don't know. Full recovery. That's might as well be a full recovery. We have some... Things here. I guess we could. We... Ah, man. I don't know. I don't know. That guy looks bad. So I think what I'm going to do is end the episode here and drop a Traveler's Beacon just to make sure that I can travel back here, except the game won't let me. Do I have to be out of combat? Yes, I think so. So we'll drop that here and then Starting next episode, we will complete the middle trials again, uh, and then we can get we can take care of that shrine quest on the coastline with that weird girl, and then we can take care of the loose end of the the Faron region, and then go into the giant horse area or the Taobob grasslands with your input in mind and having weighed it. Because otherwise, there isn't much for me to do. Maybe there's this this lake in the northern part of the Faron region above the woods. But otherwise, there isn't much to do in this area. So I think I'm going to go to the trials, and I will see you guys next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please click like. If you didn't, then drop a comment telling me how I can make the next episode so that you would like it. I release new episodes of Breath of the Wild every Monday and Wednesday. And join me next time where we finish and clear out the Faron region, I guess? See you guys then! No. Next, can we get this whole thing out? My bad. No. No. Place the, put that back. You don't know where it's been. So this is the one where I'm going to do with it. Okay. That would be great. I think I do. Uh, where would that be in my inventory? Farashes? Farashes, yeah, I have one. I have two, actually. This is it, right? Yeah, this is it, wow. I didn't even have to hunt it down.